All right, this is a more family farm, part two. Seems like yesterday, went around videotaping half the day, and uh, the damn camera got cut off. <laughs> this is the barn. Didn't show you the inside of the barn. These are two stalls I built, more for the goats to give birth, or the sheep, little birthing stalls. And then we got uh, this stable was already here, like a horse stable. Um, if they get uh, once they have the babies, and they we get more, and we put them in there together. And then uh, right now I got this closed off to where they can't get over here. But I'm gonna open this back up to the other side of those trees. And keep this as like um, the kids, once they have kids and stuff, they can uh, have a little area separate from the rest. And uh, this barn is like from 1950. So it used to be a cattle barn because it still has the uh, slots in the floor. I um, can't imagine them having too many cows. The neighbor said there was another bigger one. But they asked an older neighbor that's been here forever. She said she don't remember no other barn besides this one. So... I don't know who to believe. <laughs> this is upstairs by the room. Up here. If I could get a square bales cheap enough, it'd be nice to store up here. Because I get the round bales, and then they're hard to store to get wet. I tried to put a canvas over them last year, but that wasn't too good because um, um, the condensation got to them. And they pretty much got nastier than I would if I just left them out in the rain. Right here. So, I built this greenhouse out of, uh, I went on that marketplace on Facebook and found somebody that had some old window sashes. There's uh, nine window sashes on each side. And uh, I bought the roof material and the door found up in the uh, barn. And, uh, I grow all my vegetables and everything from seed. I, uh, too expensive to buy everything. And uh, I had some extra tomato plants, one of each variety. And I decided to leave them in here and see how they grow inside the greenhouse. And I got some, uh, got one green bean coming up in a pot, uh, some pepper plants. Some, uh, I don't know what the heck, with flowers, some flower. Spellias, asparagus. I bought those with the uh, strawberries, so I wasn't sure they'd come up, so I thought I'd put them in a pot first. See, they all came up. And then, uh, I, this one didn't come up too good. I found out a lot of my seeds weren't coming up. Found out there's a couple mice in here were coming up and digging the seeds out. Here I thought nothing was growing, but it's the mice. So this is a few more cucumbers, some pepper plants, and I started some watermelons and a couple more cucumbers because I think there's some empty spots out there. And here's I uh, planted a bunch of watermelons and cucumbers and and cantaloupes here, but. Uh, as you can see, a lot of spaces have little holes where the mice got in there and ate the seeds out. So, yeah. This is uh, small for a greenhouse, but uh, it does our purpose. Just starting the seeds and getting them out there. I might uh, build a bigger one eventually. Uh, I made a uh, Quink, quink, a mud puddle to get in. But down the hill, we have a pond and a creek. And he goes down in the creek. So he has a creek in the woods to get into if it gets too hot. Right? It's supposed to be a pot belly pig, but it didn't turn into no pot belly pig. So we're just going to keep him as a pet. Unless we get really, really starving and hungry. <laughs> Let's see. 
I got orchards over there. I got a. Uh, got a, just about everything in there. We'll walk over there in a minute. Um, we got 27 acres. We had 15 acres cleared of pines. I got videos on that. And uh, they timbered it out for uh, pulp wood. And um, now I'm stuck with the stumps. We had a few issues with the kids. My daughter moved in with her two kids. And then my other son got in a little trouble and we had to fork out some money for that. So uh, we're, we're a little uh, feeling like we're in our 20s and, and dead almost, you know, kind of feeling that way. Um, so I uh, haven't had the money to get the stumps removed. So I got 15 acres of stumps. So I'm trying to get the goats back there. I got them in one little area. I need to get a, I got this brush cutter weed eater that's coming I ordered from Amazon. Um, hopefully I can get that and cut some more fence lines in so they can eat some more and get it all cleared off. Because you can't get a bush hog in there with a, the uh, with the uh, stumps and everything. Yeah. Oh, I want my beehive. Got my beehive going. Now, been doing. Didn't take no classes, but I did YouTube. Lots of YouTube videos. So I found out this area in Virginia that uh, should be good for the the bottom frames and the uh, medium frame uh, for them have more than sufficient enough food to make it through the winter uh i'm gonna go buy one more frame and a screen to keep the queen from getting up into the next layer uh for our honey i just put this the medium on there so i got a little little while i don't want to wait too long it's already gonna be uh summer a couple weeks <clears throat> This is our fishing pond. It's got a uh, got bass, bluegill, and some crappie. And it's supposed to have catfish, but I haven't caught any. You know, when we moved here, this whole hill was covered in weeds, small trees. They just uh, they had renters here for like eight years. They just let the whole place overgrow. Didn't even know it was a pond down here. So we got it pretty much clear. We need to work on the backside. And these are my pile of center blocks. I got off of uh, the marketplace. The guy said he had like a truckload. I get over there. Took me seven truckloads in my pickup truck. And I got some wood. I wish he had some more. He had some more wood. But I was so wore out, I couldn't get no more. But I wish I had went back and got some more after seeing the prices of the lumber going up. It's crazy. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to build a retaining wall with that. It's actually the uh, the real nice center blocks. It has the, uh, the texture on there. The one side has the texture on there. But yeah, I'm going to build. One day, i got a thousand projects. Maybe y'all can come over and give me a hand. <laughs> I always got something going on. I can't sit still, so I'm always moving around. Trying to get this uh, video stuff going. But not too uh, well on the videos and editing and all guys my phone. So I got to deal with it. Um, Try to get my daughter, but you know how she is. You know, kids won't do nothing anymore. Her, her kids are all on the video games. Seems like that's all anybody ever does anymore. Let's see. All right, here's my orchard. Let's see what we got. Now, we have a peach tree over there. And, uh, it was already here where the kids little area is 
see right next to the pool. And uh, we get about a bushel of peaches off of that thing. Anyway, I took the seeds from one year. She canned some peaches. I took the seeds off and uh, planted them. And 50 some seeds. And every one of them came up. So I uh, sold them on the marketplace for five dollars a piece. I had a few people come out. I planted six up top there for my own stuff. And the rest down here, I'm going to get a little bigger and then try and resell. But got a little problem with the deers pruning them up. And then down here in these weeds, if you can see, let's see where this one is. Might have dug them up. Oh, here you go. This one? Oh, there you go. That's a weed. What the heck is that? Might have ate them all. I think the, I think the deer, I planted some little apple trees. But I think the deers might have ate them. I think that's some stuff. And here's one. <laughs> here's one right here. They did some stuff. I think they done dug them up and ate them. Hmm. Anyway, I was trying that, but I guess they don't work. Well, here's another one. By playing them from seed. There you go. Yeah. See the, see the hole right there? That's deer digging that up. Anyway, supposedly our neighbor got a bear back in the back. I haven't seen one out here. So these are pecan trees. I'll probably be dead by the time they get uh, pecans on there. And this is the apple tree I just got on clearance. And that's the apple tree I got on clearance. And then I got um, blueberry, purple grapes. Green grapes. Um, got three different apple trees and a pear tree. Let's see. And uh, oh, um, blackberry bush. And I got a um, fig tree. And uh, more blueberries. And then down here, I got a. Sour cherry for for um, 